Hello and welcome to this video session. My name is Bernard Otielo from Palladium under Kenya HMS project. Today I'm going to take you through the installation process of Kenya EMR on Ubuntu desktop machine. So I'm going to take you through all the processes step by step on what you need to do for you to install Kenya EMR on Ubuntu. So before we begin, you need to have the installation prerequisites. This includes all the files that you are going to use. It includes all the dependencies that you will need for a successful installation. So you first need three dependencies which you will get from the internet. So these dependencies include Java 7, they include Tomcat 6 and also MySQL 5.6 version. So these are the three dependencies that you are going to get from the internet. We install them on our machine. Then the rest will be just configurations before we launch Kenya EMR. So I'm going to start. This is a brand new installation of Ubuntu Desktop 16.0. I'm going to show you the first step we need to take before the actual installation. So the first thing you need to do is to update the operating system. So the first thing is that we are going to open the command window. If you want to open command window on Ubuntu, you press Ctrl Alt T. So we are going to press Ctrl Alt T. That will launch for us the terminal window in which we are going to be able to issue the commands that we need for our installation. So this is the terminal window. So the first thing you need to do is to update the operating system. So we are going to run an update command. And before you run an update command, be sure that the computer is connected to the internet because this is done directly from the internet. So I'm going to try and update the operating system by writing the following command. That will update the operating system. Then I need to enter the password. That's it. So our operating system, our Ubuntu installation is now up to date. So we are now ready to install the dependencies. So as I've said earlier, we are going to start with the first dependency, Java 7. So there is a guiding document. We have an SOP that we have already shared on the online resource page that is going to guide you on this installation. So I have a local copy which I'm going to open that is going to guide us in the installation process. So check to be sure that you have this SOP. So this is the SOP that is going to guide us on the installation of these dependencies on Ubuntu 16. It is a bit different from what we are used to on Ubuntu 12 because on Ubuntu 12 we simply do a direct installation. But for Ubuntu 16 we have to specify the repositories that contain the packages that we need. So I'll start with the first one. I'll go to section B from the SOP as highlighted. That will help me install Java 1.7 version. So the first step is to add the repository, which is the first line. So I'll just type that on my command. That's it. So we just press enter. Then the repository is added. That's it. So the next thing is now to run the update, the operating system update, so that these changes can be persisted. We are going to do another sudo apt get update as indicated there on the SOP. Okay, so once we have our repository for Java, now we can install Java. For the sake of time, I'll just copy and paste. That's how to install Java 7. If you don't follow this procedure, you are likely to install Java 8, which is not yet supported in the current Kenya EMR uh, distributions. So if you install Java 8, you are not likely to have a successful Kenya EMR installation. So be careful. Be sure that you add the repository, you update before you install Java. So the same procedure applies for Tomcat and also applies for MySQL. So we will wait for Java to install all the way to completion before we run the next dependency, which is Tomcat. So up to this point, we have installed Java successfully. So the next thing we need to do is to install Tomcat. So before we install Tomcat, we need to again update the operating system. 
So we'll just run that one more time. Good. So this is done. So then the next thing is to add the repositories for Tomcat 6. Again, if you don't do this process, you are likely to install Tomcat 7, which is not yet supported on the current KenyaMR distributions. So we are going to add the repositories for Tomcat 6. Again, I'll just copy and paste. You press enter. Then you run an update. This is done. So then we can now install Tomcat 6. So I'll just pick this. You can type this. You don't have to copy and paste. But then even as you type, you need to know that Ubuntu is case sensitive. So you have to type everything the way it is. Otherwise, the command will not run. So you need to note that all this is happening from the internet. These are files that we have to get from the internet. So then, once again, be sure that your computer is connected to the internet before you try to install these dependencies. Then, an optional package that we can install, though not necessary, is the Tomcat admin. It's an optional component of Tomcat that you can choose to install or leave, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to install it as well. Okay, so we are done with installing Java. We are done with installing Tomcat. Now the last dependency that we need from the internet is MySQL. So then we are going to run from the SOP. We are going to use the section B. So then we need to add the repositories for the MySQL. Then we update the operating system. Then we are going to install MySQL server 5.6 version. So I'll just copy this again. You can type it, type it if you choose. Then I run the updates. Good. Now finally I can install my SQL version 5.6. So if you choose yes, you just type Y, then you let the installation continue. So during the installation of MySQL, you'll be asked to supply root password. So by default, you need to have a password that is easier to remember for you. But then that is complex enough for someone to guess. But for purposes of this video, I'll use test in small letters for demonstration purposes. Then you need to confirm, so I'll type test again. Then the rest of the installation will continue all the way to the end. Right, so now we've had all the three dependencies successfully installed. So we have all we need. So then the rest of what we are going to do from now on is just to make the configurations and also copy the necessary files for OpenMRS and also the necessary modules for Kenya EMR. Now, after installing the dependencies, the next thing we are going to do is to configure Java heap space. This is done from the Tomcat default file. So we need to access that file and edit it. And that can be done from the terminal window. So you will open up that file by typing the following command. You press enter. It will open an editor window where you can configure and uh, modify the Java heap space settings. So we are going to do this right under the Java opts line. You can see where my server is. So you are going to do it right below this. This is where we are going to insert a new line that contains the new memory configurations that we have. So going back to the SOP, you will find all these settings already configured for you. So I'll just try to just copy and paste this. You can type it if you wish, but because of time, let's just copy and paste. So there are a few things to note with this configuration. One, 
the memory that we set will be dependent upon the available physical memory for our machine using an 8 gb machine we are going to have the following configurations the first part of the configurations we are going to give it 2 gb memory the second part we are going to allocate 1 gb the third part and the fourth part will have 512 per part then the last part of this configuration is going to have 256 so this is largely dependent on the physical memory that is available if you have 4 gb machine then you need to modify this and uh, reduce the allocations if you have more then you can increase the allocations so this should work for us so the next thing you need to do is just to save this file then we close it then finally before we proceed we need to test whether the configurations were okay if they were correct we need to confirm that by simply restarting tomcat so at this point we will restart tomcat if it restarts normally then it means our configurations were correct so i'm going to restart the tomcat service by typing the following that will help us restart tomcat i'll press enter then wait for tomcat to restart good so it has restarted without any errors so that means the configurations were correct so after successful restart of uh, tomcat service this will mark the end of installing the three dependencies and also configuring tomcat memory so in the next section we we'll look at how to configure kenyaimar files and also how to add openmrs web application files in their rightful directories so watch out for the next video where we are going to do kenyaimar configurations thank you